What are the top three mistakes people are making when moving to Texas? There are many. These are the top three, and we'll get into it right now. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here, real estate broker, team leader in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We have an office in the Dallas side and Fort Worth side, so we help people move here all the time. And the three big mistakes that we see people making all the time and that we're obviously coaching our clients not to make is number one, relying way too much on technology. Now, technology is a beautiful thing and there's tons of value in being able to search homes online and research school districts online and look for proximity to hospitals and jobs and search for jobs and all these different things. But the problem we see, especially from people coming from states that operate differently than Texas, whether that's politically or school systems or healthcare or uh, have a a different industry or, or kind of job richness to them, Um, relying on technology can allow you to get overly narrowly focused, right? So, um, you know, you're, you're finding something you really like and you can't wait to get here and see it. And then when you get here, it's either a not available anymore because a website was outdated or it's not anywhere near, uh, as it was presented online. That may be a school, a community, a park, um, a corporate campus, a neighborhood, uh, a zip code, you know, whatever, an entire city. Um, you know, relying too much on technology can allow you to become too narrowly focused. Again, a lot of value there, um, but we see people make that mistake, right? They fall in love uh, with one part of the overall community without having a, a wider perspective. And then they get here. They're, they're one day into a day and a half trip and they realize, oh, that's off the table now. Let's disqualify that option and there's not enough time left, right? So relying on technology too much can allow you to become too narrowly focused. It can be a great thing, but that's a problem we see a lot. Now, number two is being in too much of a hurry, right? Uh, now, look, I understand job transfers, family situations, school calendars, and all those things do create some real urgency in the marketplace. But the best case scenario is to start learning and start disqualifying and start talking to people who know what they're talking about as early as you can and try not to rely on a 24 hour or 48 hour period to make or break a move or to drive a massive decision. Now, you may only be on site locally in Dallas or Fort Worth or Houston or Austin or Tyler, El Paso, Waco, wherever it is that you're, you're, you're wanting to come to in Texas. You may only be on the ground on site for a day or two, but you want to feel familiar with that area before you have to make a decision in that area. And maybe that's watching videos like these. Maybe that's talking to a real estate agent. Maybe that's talking to people who live here or who have visited here a lot, but making sure that it's not just all online quick search and then show up and go. We find that people rush into some lesser decisions, some poor choices, or more often than not, we'll end up going home feeling like the trip was wasted because a lot of times they don't acknowledge this, but they weren't prepared enough to be able to make a decision in a 24 or 48-hour period. Now, number three, one of the biggest things that we see people make big mistakes on is not enough local market knowledge. And honestly, moving from a city or a state to a completely different city or state that's, that's a significant difference, you really can't do that alone. You know, I'm obviously biased. I believe you ought to have a local real estate agent and probably a lot of other local experts, mortgage lenders, appraisers, surveyors, that kind of thing on your team, on your side to help you fully discover what it is you want, what it is that you need. There's no doubt if you're in the middle or you're even strongly considering making a move to Texas from another state or from another part of the state, there's some overwhelm involved with that, right? There's confusion. There's lack of clarity. You may be eight steps down the uh, uh, the 10 steps on a road to make a big decision and then have to wipe the slate clean because you discover something that you just didn't know before. That can happen over and over and over again. That can become really, really discouraging. But if you were to invite a full-time local expert, real estate broker, real estate agent, um, you know, uh, someone who knows the school system really well, someone that that already works where you're moving to work, that kind of thing, and really lean into that, you can start to understand that, take, for example, we're in Dallas-Fort Worth. You know, Dallas-Fort Worth sounds like one community. It's two massive cities, but it, it, it really accounts for hundreds of 
some of them still on their own big towns or big cities, mid-sized cities, and then certainly a, a ton of small towns or quadrants or parts of towns that act very differently than the others, have different school choices, healthcare choices, travel times, restaurant and shopping, churches, parks, recreation, all these different things. But because people are moving from a different community and often lack the knowledge of many different aspects of the community, they can fixate on one area uh, and make a decision and maybe make sacrifices that they wouldn't otherwise have to make or uh, make choices with limited knowledge that they shouldn't have to make. But we do see oftentimes the consequence of that is a second move. Someone will move here from out of state, not with us typically, um, make a rapid choice or make a choice without enough market knowledge and then within a couple of years end up wanting and needing to move again. A lot of times that's overuse of just one data source where, hey, we have a friend that moved to the area, moved to Dallas, Fort Worth, and they're in Plano. So we're planning on moving to Plano. Well, you could be in eight or 10 different cities all within 15 minutes of Plano, but taking the time to access an expert or multiple resources and really understand the variety that's allowed really all across Texas, but certainly in our bigger cities, um, can help you make some better choices. You might say, our friends love Plano. We're thinking about Plano, but our needs are a little different. So let me slow down and unpack that with someone that's on the ground. And they might say, man, you know, Allen is really similar to Plano in these ways, but it's different in those ways. And it might be better for you for that need that you mentioned, or for homes of a certain size or price or proximity to this other job or this other church. Um, and there's a hundred examples of that all over Texas, Houston, Austin, Waco, all these different cities. But again, just using Dallas, Fort Worth as an example here, we see people making those three mistakes in a big way. Number one, relying on technology way too much. Number two, being in too much of a hurry. Even if you really are on a tight schedule, getting enough information, having enough conversations, prepping before you get here so that you're not trying to make a life decision in a 24 or 48 hour period. And then number three, not understanding the breadth and complexity of a local market and respecting it enough to access a local expert before you get here. So again, all three of these really tie together in a lot of ways, but those are the three biggest mistakes we see people making when they're moving to Texas, specifically for us in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now, there are lots of other mistakes that we see people making. So if we could be of service to you, I am a broker. I do have a team with offices in Fort Worth and on the Dallas side, so we can help cover you just about anywhere in DFW. Our contact information is below. We'd love to help you. But again, if you're experiencing that overwhelm, if you're jumping online and you don't even know where to start and you're seeing now that you're making some of these mistakes, you are relying a little too, too much on technology or you do feel really time pressured and you realize that you don't have adequate breadth of knowledge on the diversity of cities and jobs and communities and school districts and all those things here, we'd be happy to be a resource for you. But even if it's not me, even if it's not my team or our brokerage here, Make sure you find somebody on the ground who's not only an expert in one city, one town, one neighborhood, but who can help you really assess your needs and sort of discover multiple options that are worthy of your uh, looking at and then help you navigate, not making decisions for you, but giving you the expert advice, details, information, and access that you would need to make the best decision for you and your family and your finances. If we can help, our information's below. Comment if we can answer other questions for you, or if you have a suggestion for other videos, let us know that in the comment as well. If we could help you buy or sell here, let us know that. We'd be happy to connect with you offline and help you and get you connected to other professionals in whatever way we can. So check it out. Check out the rest of the channel.